Hello everyone. So welcome back uh, to your second class of the day. The second class of the day is math. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to warm up our fingers. Okay, 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 okay. And we are going to do some air writing our teen numbers. I hope you can see the song. And let's do this. Let's do this together, okay? Starts with the one. Fingers. Come on, everybody, let's get this done. Numbers in the teens, they stop. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to do this in Zoom as well. So I will be able to see if you've been practicing and how good you're doing this. With the one. Come on, everybody, let's get this done. Numbers in the teens, they stop with the one. Is a one and a one? Twelve. Okay, so you can continue practicing at home. I just did uh, all numbers from 11 to 19, okay? So you, oh sorry. So you can see that the angle is a little bit different from how we usually uh, record these videos, okay? Because I wanted you to be able to see nicely um, what the hundred charts I have here, okay? So before we start uh, with the numbers we're going to learn today, I want you to look at this 100 chart, okay? So before, I sent you a, a, a copy that you can print and I ask you to print it and keep it, okay? So if you have a, a math notebook, feel free to stick it there because you're going to need this 100 chart many, many times, okay? So what are the things we can do here, yeah? So today we're gonna do two things, okay? First, one time together, we're going to count in tens, okay? So look here. If you look here, this final column here, all these numbers end in zero. But also, look here, all these numbers end in, what do you notice? All these end in one, all these end in two, all these end in three. Okay, so the difference between each of these number is 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus 10 is 30. 30 plus 10 is 40. 40 plus 10 is 50, plus 10 is 60, plus 10 is 70, plus 10 is 80, plus 10 is 90, and plus 10 is 100, okay? So that goes for here, where we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, but it's also for any other column. For example, 7 plus 10 is 17, plus 10 is 27, plus 10, 37. So you can see it when you add 10 to a number, only the one, the, the, the first digit here changes, but the last one stays the same, okay? But this is only if we're talking about two digit numbers, yeah? Okay, so let's do one more time, counting in tens, okay? So what I'm gonna do this time, I'm going to say one, but then I'm not going to say the next one, but I'm hoping that you at home are saying it instead of me, okay? So, 10, 30, 40, oops, 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 let's go again, sorry, my mistake. I said it all, so 10, 30, 50, 60, oh no, I'm supposed to be quiet, 70, now you, 90, and now you. It was a bit hard to concentrate, <laughs> okay? So, now let's look here. Last time we talked about this number, number 16, okay? So, I know that what you're expecting now that we're going to talk about the next number, which is 19. But actually, sorry, 17. But actually today, we're not going to talk only about 17. We're going to talk about both 17 and 18. Okay, 17 and 18. So look what I have here. I have my board here. But what you can notice is that it's split in half. Why? I have prepared some materials here. Okay, so words, uh, tally, flowers. 
and some time frame, okay? And together, we're going to figure out what belongs where, okay? So let's first take a look. The last number we did is 16, so I'm just going to mark it. It's here, 16, okay? So let's see, we have 17 and 18. Now guys, we've been talking about T numbers for quite a while, so I think you already know quite a lot about them. Uh, so let's start, let's start with the words, okay? I have here a word card. So let's see, can you on your own read this word or can you at least, you know, guess, is it 17 or 18? So look at the letters one by one. And already from the first letter, you should know that this is word 17, okay? So we're going to put it here, 17, next to the number 17, okay? Letters are s, e, v, e, n, t, e, n, okay? But 17 is a bit tricky word. You don't read it exactly like you write it, okay? So let's see what's next here. If that was 17, then this is the word 18, okay? I'm going to put it here next to the number. Okay, so let's see what we have next. You can see that here in the corner, you have two completed 10 frames, okay? So you have 10, but you need to add one more frame, partially completed here, partially completed here, to get to 17 and to 18. So I have these two. Okay, now let's figure out which one uh, goes where. So I have here 10 and I want to get to 17. So I'm actually going to, actually I'm not going to use this 16 right now. Instead, I'm going to go to 10. Okay, I'm going to mark 10. So I'm at 10, I want to get to 17. How many hops do I have to make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, which means that I'm gonna write it here, 10 plus seven equals 17. Okay, remember how to, to check. If I go, if we start from 17, count back seven and I end up at 10, that means that this sentence was right. So let's go 17, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I landed back at 10, so this is correct. Now let's see, does this one have seven? How many does this one have? First try to count on your own. And now together, two, four, six, eight. This one has eight and I need seven. And this one, two, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one has seven, so I'm going to need this one here. Okay, to put it here. Okay, so we have 10 and seven, 10 plus seven equals 17. Now let's see here, how about 18? Okay, so I'm just going to, oh, actually no, I'm going to take a different colored marker and I'm just going to make taller hops, but they still count as one. So I start from 10 because here I have 10, okay? And I want to get to 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it took me eight hops, 10 plus eight equals 18. Okay, let's check counting backwards. From eight minus, uh, 18 minus eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're back at 10. Okay, so this one, we already counted, has two, four, six, eight, has eight. So I'm going to put it 
here. Okay, and now I have 10 frame, which represents number 18. Stay with me, there are two more things I want to do. 